Mr. Tickle Saves the Day. What do you think is Mr. Tickle's favorite thing in the world to do? Yes, of course it's tickling. Oh, Mr. Tickle. In the street or in the park or in the shops, everyone who meets him knows they are about to get tickled. Even little Miss Shy can't hide from the tickles. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Whatever next. Some people think that if they stay at home, they'll be safe from the tickles. Well, they're wrong. Mr. Tickle finds a way to tickle them wherever they are. His arms are so extraordinarily long that they can creep and sneak anywhere, even down the chimney into Mr. Slow's living room, where Mr. Slow is sitting in his armchair, reading the newspaper. Nothing can stop Mr. Tickle's tickles. After a while, people had had enough of this. The baker, the ice cream seller, everyone announced it was exhausting to have to work and laugh at the same time. They had had enough of Mr. Tickle's tickles. As soon as he came into town, bang, 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 they closed their doors and they shut up their shops. Nobody likes me, moaned Mr. Tickle to himself. I don't do any harm. I just can't help tickling people. But it seemed that people didn't like his tickles, and that made him very sad. Boing, boing, boing. Not far away, a little girl was bouncing a ball that her grandmother had given her. Higher, higher! she cried as she laughed and played. The ball bounced higher and higher into the blue sky and got stuck in the branches of a tall tree. Oh, what shall I do? cried the little girl. Don't worry, I'll help, said Mr. Small, who had heard her cries. Mr. Small, climb such a tall tree? But somehow or other, by hopping from branch to branch, Mr. Small managed to reach the ball. He threw it down. Suddenly, the ground seemed very far away to Mr. Small. Mr. Small began to feel dizzy. He held on tight to the branch and tried not to look down. The ball had been rescued, but now Mr. Small was well and truly stuck up the tree. Don't worry, I'll help, said Mr. Bounce, who was passing by. I'll bounce myself up into the tree and help you down. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Mr. Bounce bounced higher and higher and higher. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't bounce high enough. Poor Mr. Small was still stuck in the tree. Don't worry, I'll help, said Little Miss Magic. She raised her magic wand, and suddenly the tree was covered in sweets. Oops! Thank you for the sweets, said an unhappy Mr. Small. But I'm still stuck in this tree. Don't worry, I'll help, said Mr. Strong. And using all his strength, he began to pull the tree right out of the ground. Stop, stop, cried poor Mr. Small. I'm going to fall. By now, quite a crowd had gathered around the bottom of Mr. Small's tree. Little Miss Sunshine had an idea. Perhaps Mr. Tickle could help. Mr. Tickle, she called when she got to his house. Come quickly, we all need you. They needed him? Forgetting his sadness, Mr. Tickle ran to the tree and reaching up with one of his extraordinarily long arms, gently he lifted Mr. Small back down to the ground. Thank you, Mr. Tickle, said a very relieved Mr. Small. I'll never forget how you helped me. And the friends agreed that the very best way to thank Mr. Tickle was to let him give them all an enormous tickle. Mr. Tickle didn't need telling twice and reached out his long arms around all his friends. He tickled and tickled until they were all falling about with laughter. The tickle. I mean, the end.